Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 102 of Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Uh, let's come down to our terminal. Uh, we're in the Spectre office right now. And there is something that we need here. Pistol magazine, assault thermal. Uh, pistol power magnifier. Uh, I don't think we'll ever use this, uh, except that we have money now. But uh, assault rifle thermal scope. Let's buy this uh, because this is good for. Pistol power, get target jamming tech. Okay, let's buy this. Uh, Reaper code fragment. Oh, these are part of the missions, right? I think, yeah. Uh, pistol power magnifier, chakram launcher, Valkyrie defender. Uh, the Valkyrie, when we were doing the analysis, I think the Valkyrie is turning out to be... Oh, this is the Valkyrie 3. Uh... Oh, Valkyrie 2. I think once we improve it, uh, in a pro in a different episode where we were looking at the different kind of weapons that Pure Biotic can have, the Valkyrie is turning out to be not too bad. So uh, the Spectre Division is selling an upgrade for, for the Valkyrie. So uh, the Defender, Shotgun, Caliber, High Caliber allows wider... Project uh, project projectiles cost you more trauma. Let's buy that. The eagle is something we never bought. You know what? Uh, I don't think it's going to be as good as the suppressor, but I don't know. Uh, it is just so expensive, right? It's like or the piranha. Piranha is an assault shotgun designed for the Reaper War. When the N7 program began, uh, I think we might want to buy this and give it to uh, our shotgun carriers like uh, James and Tally. Uh, the lighter bodied uh, species wanted a low... When the N7 began training resistant forces, the lighter bodied, asp I think, uh, wanted a low recoil weapon with a wide pellet spread for dealing with hordes of husks. The result was the Piranha, which hit a sweet spot in close-range firepower. Its rapid-fire capability tears apart not only Husk, but most opponents unlucky enough to get in its way. So we might want to get that and give it to our people. I think, I think this might turn out to be a better shotgun than what we currently have. Um, Hurricane... No, no, the get shot, the get uh, submachine gun is still the best. So the we might. So I'm thinking about the eagle and uh, or the piranha. The piranha. Well, maybe for yeah for James. Anyway, we okay. We bought two items, so I think we now have. Uh, we can go through the... I mean, as part of our mission here, right? Uh, we have the target... Uh, it, he is in the Presidium Commons. And then Batarian Codes... Uh, access points in the Citadel. Reaper codes uh, at the Citadel Embassy. Okay, so somebody here wants the Reaper Reaper codes. Somebody here wants the Reaper codes. 
We're in the embassy area. Not her. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. What's this? Nope. I thought we got the Reaper codes. We bought it from the Spectre Terminal. Huh. Then the other one would be... Commander yeah. The people of the Alliance have questions. Right? Or is it possible that that lady is in the CSEC office? So none of these uh, characters here are interactable, we can interact with. Wow. Maybe in the CSEC office. Or in... Nope. Not in Udina's office. Yep, we came here. Don't see nobody. What does it say? Um, Needs update ciphers to break service codes. No, this is uh, Reaper, right? See, an Asari war strategist needs fragments of Reaper codes to predict uh, enemy movements. Find a Reaper code fragment and deliver it to her at the Citadel Embassy. We bought that in the terminal, in the Spectre terminal, in the Embassy area. Nope. We are in the embassy area, and man, I wish I know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, uh, we're not finding right. Nope these these people are not. It's just a CSEC officer. Okay, we have already done that. Um, Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Okay, and then there's another CSEC officer that is in the commons area. Please select a destination. One moment, please. And hopefully it's in that CSEC office way at the end. Oh, uh, I think there's something here that I would love, I would like to buy it also. Um... Because I checked it out in uh, our terminals aboard the Normandy. Welcome to Canala Exports. Sniper concentration, hand gauntlets, Exports. blood Even dragon armor, power storm. damage. This is not bad. Plus thirty shields, plus twenty. I think uh, I I I don't mind buying this. Power damage, shield plus twenty. Uh. Right, it's it's a good for us. It's it's not as good as the infernal uh, armor. Uh, the thing is that the infernal armor has 30% uh, power recharge speed. I love the 20% shield. I, if that power recharge recharge speed was plus 10 was just given to health, it would be ideal. So we have power damage of 30, shields plus 20, and health plus 10. That would be ideal. I think I'll buy this one, except... Mm. <laughs> uh, recoil system... I don't think we'll ever use this. Sniper Han... We might give up the 10% amun ammunition though. I recovered the Book of Plenty's. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan. Cool. This is a priceless gift. Thank you. Welcome to 
So Rigor com uh, Carbon, we have not checked it out. It's an electrical, so this doesn't have uh, recoil. Uh, this one has, I think, a lot of recoil. This one doesn't have a recoil also. Uh, electrical weapons attack, so both Rigor and the un ADAS anti-synthetic rifle, I think, are pretty good because they don't have any recoil, but I think they're very close to the rifle that Javik uh, came with, so I have not bought these. Uh, the striker rifle is a fully automatic weapon that functions more as a grenade launcher. No, it's a grenade launcher. Uh, shotgun shredder. Um, so, this one, I don't know. So, in terms of pistol, I think we have the best. The, um, the suppressor. Okay, now we need to go check out the CSEC officer. Hopefully it is in the CSEC section way over at the end of this, at the lower bottom. These are CSEC people, right? <laughs> people who carry guns. Yeah, they got to be CSEC officers. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Oh, oh yeah, we bought a stabil stabilizer, stabilizer, sir, for that guy. Not here. That's another CSEC officers, right? These are CSEC officers. Why are we not getting uh, interactable? Welcome to Agor Munitions. Shotgun heat sink. Shotgun ultralight material. Uh, heat sink. Agor munitions for deals you never see coming. Pist Ooh, pistol high caliber. Yes, uh, twenty five percent damage. We definitely want that because that is uh, our light along our line of uh, requirements. Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper casa, fabricated shoulder guard. Ouch. So we are not seeing the CSEC officer. Hello, Shepard. So that pistol caliber will make our suppressor even more deadly. Cool. No CSEC officer here. Acolyte. Good hunting. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. And sister, see the Carnifex is to what we started out with, I think, in uh, Mass Effect Two. Until we found a better one, right? I think this was a heavy, a highly accurate and lethal pistol. The Carnifex is a favorite sidearm of mercenary leaders and Eclipse mercenary tech specialist. An expensive but powerful weapon. It's marketing material. So we, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, piercing mod, stability damper, sniper. So if we were in a sniper, so we have not been buying any sniper items. That's again for melee. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Where is that CSEC officer? Jeez. Well. Yes, this is the guy. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you... Oh, never mind. Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. Correct. Correct. Okay. Who's this? Oh, Ashley. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, 
buy his ice cream. And cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. <sighs> Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I threatened to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. <laughs> that tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. It's easy to forget what we fight for. Yeah, moments like that. This was a good idea. Nice to get away from the war for a while. I do feel a little guilty, though. Sure. But sometimes you have to step away or risk going crazy. Too late. No argument here. You're a crappy commander. You're a crappy commander. Sir. Copy that. <laughs> okay. Oh, plus two in our reputation. Okay. Uh, huh. Anyway, we accomplished what we came here for. And I think uh, we can leave and then do our party. I think it's about time we do our party. We keep spending money and uh, we have only two major missions coming up. Uh, okay, let's go to the Silver Sun Strip. And let's do, let's buy the party favors. And in the Silver Sun Strip, there are gaming machines, there are gambling machines, uh, which I, which we have not actually explored yet. Okay, so it is up here, like Blasto Elastics. Uh, I think we are supposed to buy some. What's this? Uh, Castle. What? I thought we were supposed to lead up here. Uh, I think we need to buy some party favors, right? Okay, not here. <laughs> Where are the party favors? Uh, not here. I think it's some kind of a bar. Ouch. Okay, uh, where are party favors? Oh, wait for Jacob. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. <laughs> what about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. What are we supposed to do? I think we're supposed to play games or something? Uh, I have no idea. That's... This, is, I think, is Hollow Games or Hollow Projectors or something. Oh, yeah. Shattered... This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? A shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't uh -oh. think so. Well, step up, Shepard. 
Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. <laughs> no pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. And okay, I don't know how to play this. My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepherd we just stumbled on uh, Jacobs. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. <laughs> what? That all you got? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? Feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. What? Crying yet, Jacob? Whoa, our heads went off. Whoa, killed it. Serious. Yeah, Jacob wins. Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. <laughs> I knew I don't know how to play the game. Jeez. Okay. Uh, huh. Wait a minute. Why are we here? Uh, where does this go? Oh, this is where we came for the boxing. This is the sports arena. We want to go to the oh Silver Coast, right? I think the Silver Coast. That's where the food is. Okay, I think maybe no. Is there? Okay, I think we need to go upstairs. Because earlier we saw the kind of square sign on like a little bit above. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, wait. What can I get for you? Liquors, ale, spirits, you name it, I got it. What's this? Wait. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha <laughs> ha It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's an atlas. <laughs> like this. It's joking time. And he's an excellent pilot, right? <laughs> He's a great pilot, so no way. And that's pretty much how it happened, which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here, uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. 
I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. Wow, all those chicks are now attracted to uh, Joker. Problem is, he is supposed to be with Edie. Okay. Party favors, yes, let's, let's buy those. Cool. Now we can start our party. Okay, anybody else here? Because sometimes, yeah, we, we encounter all of these. Oh, why are we dancing alone with or is it with this woman? Okay, uh, st I'm stopping st Stop mingling, okay um, Okay, where is our home? Uh, Things way over on that other side, or is it uh, one level below? I think it's one level below. Oops! Ouch! Okay, so there's no way getting down there unless we go through the casino. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go downstairs. So there are stuff here to ex stuff to explore here, and yeah, we're on the other end. Just checking. Sometimes, yeah, we get a uh, indicator like Joker. Oh, here. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. It's gotta be Rex. <laughs> With a Krogan. Can't be Grunt, can it? Noodle House! So, oh, gr Grunt. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Okay, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, it gives us a pause, so... Uh, let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. So, we, where we will start the party. Bye.